Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe Believing Beings and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Um, we have four people uh, who wants to declare Shahada. So we uh, they can come to the stage. Okay. okay. Uh, one, one second. It's very easy to become a citizen of the Muslim nation. All you have to say is the password, which Sheikh Zakir, inshallah, will teach it to our new brothers. As we say, we are all brothers in humanity. We are all humans, whatever religion we are. But just like citizenship, you know, he's from this country or that country. When they declare this very nice password, which is known to everybody, it's not a password, then they become, they, they gain a special brotherhood which is the brotherhood in Islam. Come on. Just be careful. So you can stand. Can we have some questions first? May I know your name, brothers? Can I have the names? Jomar. 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 Uh -huh. Jomar. Yeah. Your brother? My name is Vincent. Wilson. I'm Gilbert. Sorry? Gilbert. Stephen. Stephen. I would like to ask you a question that do you believe that there is one God? All of you? All of you believe? And do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe? Do you believe that, that Jesus, peace be upon him? Is he God or is he a messenger? Messenger, what do you believe? Messenger, mashallah. Messenger? Mashallah. Yes, that is one of the fundamentals of faith that we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not God but is the messenger of God. I would like to ask you, Fine, you have a question. Yes, yeah. Uh, good evening, uh, Dr. Zakir. Assalamu alaikum. So, uh, beginning from me, I was raised Christian. Uh, believe me or not, from from uh, from I woke up from the ch uh, from the childhood and become a mature, I didn't open Bible. That is really true. And everyone, and even uh, even until now. But someone came to me, then re, uh, introduced me about Islam. So one thing left in me, since the uh, last 15 days, I started to read Quran and search about Islam. So one thing that I want to know regarding the Islam and regarding, regarding, the, uh, regarding uh, become a Muslim. I, uh, I prepared some questions, I, I prepared some uh, notes here, which is uh, I found in the in the YouTube, in other articles in the internet, that it says uh, uh, these words is came from Prophet Muhammad, peace upon, peace upon him. So I want to read this, then I want an answer from uh, Dr. Zakir regarding in uh, clarifications. I don't have any doubt to become a Muslim. I believe, I believe in one religions. But then I want to clarify first before my heart open and accept. The, the Islam and be, become a Muslim. Sure, can I have the question, please? Yeah. So, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, "Whoever killed a person having a treaty with with the Muslims shall not smell the smell of paradise through its smell is perceived from the distance of the forty years." Another thing, if anyone kills a man who grants protection prematurely. Allah will forbid him to enter the paradise. Another thing, Allah the Almighty, the Almighty, uh, Allah the Almighty, tortures those 
who torture people in this life. So my question is, is there can any can human... You the third? Can you repeat the second and third hadith, please? The, the second. Can you come in the front here, please? Okay. I'm looking yes. The second is, if anyone kills a man who he, who he grants protection prematurely, Allah will forbid him to enter paradise. So my question for this uh, statement from uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is there any written in the book that... Can I request that the parent can take the child out, please? Uh, request the father, can you take the child down, please? Jazakallah, Shukri. I request the volunteers. I believe there are less volunteers here. If there are volunteers here, if you avoid me telling on the stage, your ears should be sharp enough. It is mentioned very clearly that children below the age of eight should not be allowed here. So you see to it that the volunteers, the ears should be sharp enough. The moment you hear the cry the first time, the second time it should not be heard. So I request the volunteers to be active. And I request the parents themselves, you do it voluntary, because the Sharia says, let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. We are having this, this program is being telecast to 100 million people. So please, please cooperate. You wouldn't like to be the cause of 100 million people not hearing correctly. So I request the parents, the moment your child cries, see to it that you move your child outside, outside the theater, please. Jazakallah. Can you continue, please? Okay. Back to, uh, back to my question. So, if there is any written in the book that, uh, or in the Quran, says that there is a one person, a human being, uh, sent by God or give the authority that God that kills a person, whatever this person has, uh, has sinned or even the heavy sins. So, according, as what I said, Allah Almighty tortures the person who tortures human beings. So that what's is my your, question. What's your question? I didn't understand. Is there any human being that Allah, that, uh, Allah gives permit, permission to kill a person? Just ah. what we did, just what, what happened you know, and, uh, nowadays. The brother asking a question that does Allah give permission for you to kill any other human being? The hadith is quote that if there is a tie, like the hadith, he quoted three hadiths. One hadith says that if there is a peace treaty between the Muslims and the others, you have to protect that person. If you don't, then you will not enter Jannah. The second says that you cannot kill a person who is under peace treaty. If you do that, you shall not enter Jannah. All these verses talk about you should not kill any other human being which is under treaty. There is also another verse in the Quran which I quoted in my talk, which is a very important verse in the Quran. In Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 32, we say that if anyone kills any other human being, whether it be a Muslim or non-Muslim, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And if he saves any human being, he has saved the whole of notion. So according to the Quran, as well as the Hadith, you cannot kill any innocent human being. And a question, who can you kill? Only that person, as the Quran says, unless you cannot kill any other human, unless he spreads corruption. So if a person spreads corruption in the land, then you can kill him. Do not kill any other human being unless he commits murder. If someone has murdered someone, and then if you murder him, Quran gives permission. Secondly, if he spreads corruption in the land, for example, if a man goes and rapes a woman, it is spreading corruption. So the penalty in Islam for rape is death penalty. So the only two places where you can kill any other human being is that if he is spreading corruption in the land or if he has committed murder. Spreading corruption can include many things. For example, as I said, committing rape of a woman. So if these two things are there, these two are the only time where death penalty can be given and the Sharia specifies where death penalty can be given. If you read the Hadith of Muhammad there are cases where death penalty can be prescribed 
in all the other cases, if you kill any other innocent human being, if he is not spreading corruption in the land, and if he has not committed murder, then it is as though you have killed the whole of humanity. Hope that answers the question. Hope you are convinced. I hope you are convinced with the answer. Yes. So would you like to take the shada now? Yes. Our request of the brother again. I prefer that the people should be down. They should not be called on the stage so I can interact. I'm turning my back to the audience, to the camera. Okay, as I was saying, that all of you believe that there is one God? Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? And you believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God? Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Are you doing out of your own free will? Out of your own free will? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Is anyone forcing you? Okay, I'll just say it in Arabic. The same thing, that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger and you repeat it. Inshallah after me. Ashadu. Can you give the microphone please? Dr. Mazar. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And. And. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. MashaAllah. Because you're Muslim. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he grant all of you Jannah. Inshallah. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah grant all these from the Jannah and through them may he guide other peoples to the straight path of Islam. Jazakallah.